Alrighty, Nail Crew, welcome back. I have another stocking stuffer for you guys. This one is from the company Dashboard, and I've never heard of this company before. Um, but they reached out to me, and they sent me a drill bit to try on my channel for you guys. And I've just been saving it until this whole series, because I just wanted it to be part of my stocking stuffer gift giver ideas kind of thing. So I saved it for you guys, and here we go. So I'm just showing you guys the back of the package. Let's just dive on in. And they kind of like they don't want me to get into it. Hold on, let me get some scissors real quick and just cut that little piece of tape off. All right. I definitely love a good package, but guys, it's like they don't want me to get in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look. It's like a little cute little package. Perfect for a stocking stuffer. Perfect because it's just in a cute little box. Oh my gosh slap a bow on it and call it a day so then also you get the ceramic drill bit but then you also get a free gift so you could purchase the drill bit and then get yourself another little extra gift on the side and this is how you can take a screenshot of it and then just follow the instructions later on but yeah isn't that cool so you buy one you get one free i'm definitely going to do that i uh, <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time honey don't threaten me with a good time all right <laughs> let's take her out of the box and how do we get her out of there like she is packaged so well like she swaddled like a newborn baby all right so i got her loose da -da -da -da! here she is she is born here she is so this is a coarse drill bit and we're definitely going to have to put her to the test, right? Like, she's packaged well and she's cute or whatever. But let's put her to the test. So let me put this little box away. Hold on, guys. Struggling moment. Struggle moment. All right. So I have my drill. I've been using my Burano drill a lot lately. I still really love this drill. I'll leave the link to this drill below, okay? It's going to be in my Amazon storefront along with the drill bit. So I just did these nails, but you guys know I rushed them. If you watch that video, I rushed them because I had a flight to catch, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, let's drill them off. Let's just, let's just drill them off. Let's put the drill to the test. Let's put the drill bit to the test and let's just drill these nails off. Woo! right oh my gosh i know i know you guys are like what girl you just did those nails Whoa, oh my god i know i know but i just want to test out this drill bit because i have okay so i have the clear layer of acrylic on my nail right and then on this nail i have like that mauve color and then I have the glitter. So that's already three layers of acrylic right there. And then I have two coats of the PND top coat, right? So I wanna see how fast or how well this drill bit is going to cut through two layers of the PND gel polish plus three layers of acrylic. So yeah, we're gonna put it to the ultimate test. Like that's what we're here to do. You don't wanna give somebody a stocking stuffer and then it just sucks, right? Like that's, no, I, no, hell no. And then you're gonna be like, oh, Nail by Nikki recommended it. No, hell no. <laughs> Hell no. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out right now. We're gonna see how well this thing works right now because there is nothing worse than getting a gift that you have to pretend you like. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So no, we're not gonna play those games, okay? So anyway, the first nail went pretty darn quickly. Like for real, for real. For real, for real. <laughs> like it drills everything off wow okay let me turn this drill off oh my god okay wait my bad <laughs> you don't press the button to turn it off you twist the knob to turn it off so it, it kept on rotating but anyway so the nail is thin enough now that i could just clip it off so typically when you're removing nails you want to clip it off first so you want to cut them make them short and then drill them off however um my nails were a little bit too thick to get into the cutter so i have to drill them first make them really thin and then they could fit into the cutter and then i cut them really short so that's yeah i know i know i made my nails super thick but that's just how i roll that's how i like them all right so now that it's cut short I have the drill and I have it on a lower speed and I just want to further smooth out the free edge. So that's what I'm doing now. 
and I'm not going to fall off like every bit of acrylic because this acrylic, as you guys know, is still pretty fresh. I know many of you are cringing out there because you're like, what? This girl just did her nails. I know, I know. So anyway, it's still pretty fresh and I don't want to ruin my nail beds or my nail plate, I should say. I don't want to ruin my nail plate by removing the acrylic because it's still good. So I'm just going to file down to a very thin layer to where it almost looks like my natural nail plate and then I will build a nail on top of that and it should still have a really good adhesion. So that's that, the first nail went rather quickly. All right, so let's just keep on going. Now, as you remember guys, if these nails look a little lumpy, it's because they are lumpy. <laughs> I did these nails so lickety split. I did them so quick on the way to the airport. Like I had to rush because I didn't have a lot of time. I'll leave the link to that video below but I literally filed my nails in the car on the way to the airport with a hand file so they might look a hot mess and so that's why I don't mind filing them off and just starting all over just for fun just for shits and giggles because hey why not right so I figured um I need a new set anyway because I just didn't appreciate the beauty that these nails could have been had I taken my time with them um so yeah, so I don't mind filing them off and starting all over. Plus nails are fun. It's actually fun and relaxing for me uh, to do my nails. So I really don't mind. To be honest though, I don't always file my nails like this. I usually, you know, file them thin, cut them short, and then soak them in acetone. Like typically that's the way that I take my nails off. But it is a longer process because you have to soak them in acetone, then you scrape them off, and then you soak them in acetone, and then you scrape them off, and you just keep doing that whole bit until the nails are soaked completely off and that's a good way too but because I have a new drill bit I just wanted to try it out to the fullest for you guys today just to see how well it works so that's what we're gonna do today what do you guys do to remove your acrylics and your gels do you soak them off or do you file them off like this let me know which way do you prefer what way is faster for you and what drill bits do you use yeah let me know let me know so I'll leave this in real time for you guys just so you can see how fast or slow it took me to drill off all my nails. Um, I'm only going to do the left hand, of course. I'm not going to do the left and right. We don't need to see both hands. I mean, I, once you see one, you'll get the picture and you could duplicate it in your mind to both. But anyway, I want to fill you guys in on my trip to Tennessee. So I went to Tennessee. As you guys know, if you watched my last video, I flew out on Friday and I actually got back this morning. Yes, this morning, y'all. Oh my God. It just, my weekend has been so jam-packed so anyway we flew out there to get my daughter like help her pack up or whatever and bring her back down to Florida but while we were there like we really didn't do anything we really didn't sightsee or anything like that but we ate a lot like <laughs> She is definitely an old soul. So I'm going to do her nails at some point and um, I'll see if she has any stories to tell you guys. She is definitely an old lady trapped in like a child's body. Def she's 18 years old, but she's really like, she's I'm 40. So she has to be like 78. Like definitely she got to be like 78, 79. Ever since she was three years old, y'all, Ever since she was three years old, people have been calling her grandma or auntie because she's definitely like, I think she's reincarnated. I don't know if you guys believe in reincarnation, but she is definitely reincarnated. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is so satisfying. This is so satisfying. Oh my God. It's like peeling cucumbers or carrots. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is definitely, this is like peel porn right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is just so satisfying. This is visually satisfying. This is a good drill bit, y'all. This is a good stocking stuffer. Oh my gosh. Ugh. And of course, it's a little bit, um, you know, harder when you're doing your own nails. But if you were to try this on somebody else, could you just imagine on how nice it'll come off and how quickly? Oh my gosh, that nail went by so quick, so smooth. So anyway, anyway. My daughter, ever since she was three, people have been calling her grandma or auntie. Like, legit. Like, and I'm talking about people that just meet her. Like, I will introduce her to, like, a friend or a family member that hasn't seen me in a long time or whatever. And just by being around her for, like, 30 minutes, people will be like, hey, auntie, come here, grandma. Literally. So now that she's 18, 
<laughs> her grandma-ness, like, quote, unquote, her motherly nature is just, like, beyond. All she wants to do is, like, cook for people. She's definitely a good cook. And I remember before she left, she used to do my meal prepping for me. So if you guys know what meal prepping is, you cook one time for the week and you cook like maybe like three to five meals and, you know, for the week or three to five days worth of meals and you just stack them up in Tupperware in the fridge or whatever. And um, she used to do that for me. And oh my gosh, like that is what I missed the most. So now that she's back, honey, meal prep back on, honey. Yes. Um, but the only thing is she cooks like a grandma. So it's going to be full of butter, full of flavor, full of fat, but full of taste, honey. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot wait till uh, she gets on here. And I hope she's not camera shy to like really talk and just be herself. Because y'all think I'm loud. Y'all think I'm crazy. Oh, trust me. Oh, wait till you. Oh, no. Naya knew. No. I've actually, I've done her nails before. Um, and I have, I think I want to say like two videos with her in it. And she did show her personality uh, a lot. Well, eh, kind of, sort of. She did. Uh, but we'll see. We'll just see how she is when she comes back. I just want her to just get loose and just like, just really just show you guys like who she is. You guys will be thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly entertained when Naya lets me do her nails if she just likes be free. So anyway, that is that. As you can tell, I'm actually excited that she is coming back in town. So she actually wants to do nursing and I don't want to jinx anything. But she wants to be in the nursing field like her mama. Hey. So she's expressed wanting to go all the way up to her doctorate degree like me. But listen, she doesn't even have to do that. If she just becomes a nurse, I'll be happy with that. If she gets her master's degree, oh my gosh, over the moon. If she actually goes forward and get her doctorate, I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I just don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. But you know what? One day at a time, one day at a time, you know, I, even if she was just like, Ma, I want to just go to school to, be, to do nails. Shoot, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> as long as you're like doing something and progressing in your life, I'm a happy mama. That's all I got to say. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I also want to point out, guys, <laughs> I also want to point this out. While I was in Tennessee, uh, my daughter has a dog. Like it's a, uh, it's not a big dog, but it's definitely fluffy and it sheds a lot. And I'm allergic to dogs. Um, Muffin also has a dog, but Muffin's dog has like short, tight hair, also sheds. But for some reason, I'm not allergic to Muffin's dog. But anyway, so Nunu's dog sheds and I could not breathe honey I was wheezing the whole weekend so the two videos that I posted while I was in Tennessee oh my gosh my voice over if I was like wheezing or breathing heavy that's because I literally could not breathe I was suffering you hear me I was popping Zyrtex like they were Tic Tacs like I just couldn't breathe so yeah if you were like dang what's wrong with her is her mouth too close to the phone right now Nah, I just really can't breathe. <laughs> I'm just gonna breathe. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there. I me I meant to mention it in the video, like um like type it across the screen or something like that. But then I ended up forgetting. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to put that out there in case you guys were wondering, like what the hell is wrong with this girl? <laughs> That's it. So I do apologize. I do apologize. And guys, listen, I literally got back this morning so i normally leave the house at 8 a.m to go to work i got back at 8 05 okay so literally i ran in the house brushed my teeth fixed my hair threw my clothes on and i was out to work i actually got to work on time which is weird it was weird because i got home anyway yeah it was weird it was weird uh but the universe aligned all the stars and the moon and the planets for me and i got to work on time and i got home in enough time to film two videos today i filmed two videos today this one and i can't believe i have all this energy at the end of the day but i actually filmed this one and i filmed another one for you guys Ooh! and i'm gonna post them out of order so you'll see this one and then the one that i'll post tomorrow you'll see my nails on and it's gonna be like wait what did she take the nails off yes 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 don't even just 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 ignore it but um yeah so yeah guys I had a really good weekend and then I had a really good Monday right I'm just 
oh, I'm just so happy. And we're going into Thanksgiving. I'm trying to give you guys as many stocking stuffer ideas or as many Black Friday sale ideas as I possibly can before Thanksgiving. So if I post two videos in one day, then that's why. Because I just want to give you guys the most that I possibly can before the holiday. So yeah, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm working overtime for you guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. So with all that being said, guys, in the description box below, I will have a coupon code. You could use the coupon code for this drill bit. This one is coarse, but you could use the same coupon code for coarse, medium, or fine. Okay, so click on the link below. It will be in my Amazon storefront. So click my Amazon storefront link. Go to where it says drills and drill bits, okay? There you will see this drill bit and all you have to do is put it in your shopping cart and then put the code. The code is actually good for a full year. So if you don't make your purchase today, um, I actually recommend doing it by uh, Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I would definitely recommend doing it by Cyber Monday. Um, use my code, save some money. But if you miss those sales, then obviously you could always use it up to a year. So you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. All right. So if you catch my video where I demonstrated the Laguna Moon, I'm pulling that out. That was also one of my stocking stuffer video ideas. I'm just going to remove all the dust and crud from my nails just to make them look a little bit more presentable for you guys. Just getting a little bit vigorous in here. <laughs> all right, guys. So they look pretty good. Like you can still tell. You can still tell there is like a little glitter still oh i couldn't get that little bit of glitter off but i'll probably use a um cuticle drill bit later and try to remove it but for the most part most of the acrylic is gone like there's still that very thin layer that i left on purpose to protect my nail plate but this drill bit was very good i actually like it so again let me show you guys this cute little package perfect for throwing in someone's stocking or shoe getting it for yourself hmm. okay so just showing you guys the side again and then here is the back let me try to give you guys a close-up just in case you want to take a screenshot. And there's their socials down at the bottom. So that's that, guys. Definitely. And then let me show you guys this one more time. How to get something for free. Free products. I mean, hey, buy your friend a gift. Get you a gift free. I'm just saying, because who doesn't love a free gift? So again, this is what it looks like. So when you search the item on Amazon, this is the picture that will come up. Now I want to throw in a clip of the two dogs playing together just because I thought it was kind of cute. Here we go. Let's see if Don't the two dogs... I won't get you in it, Muff. Oh, Muff, Muff. Oh. I told you he don't like you. Marley! <laughs> Wait, put him back again. <laughs> Try one more time. Kilo. Kilo See, he don't, he, he don't like scared. him. We tried taking him to dog parks. He just don't. Marley, you're mean. He likes girl dogs. <laughs> he likes Kilo was ready to play. He really was. Kilo's really ready. Aw. Aw, poor Kilo. Get him a He's little... not messing with it. Oh, Marley, you got to go. Kilo needs Brother to go to the sister. dog park, don't you? He only like But people. Kilo's going to be so vicious. That's why I don't want to take Kilo, him. You're so Why would he be vicious? I wish my dog would like Kilo him. Kilo be playing with pit bulls. He, oh. <laughs> he, he's in the um, little dog. He likes big dogs. Don't like small dogs. Uh, Unless it's a girl. He want to be the only small dog. That's yes. why. He don't think well, he, you're not. He don't think he, the small dogs are good enough to play with him. Kilo's. They'll probably play like once they get to know each other better. Because Kilo's happy. Look. Kilo yeah. tail wagon. <laughs> and that is a wrap guys that is a wrap i hope you like this video and i hope you like my story because i'm always telling you guys stories about my life um, feel free to share stories about your life <laughs> let's make this a mutual conversation <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching till the end i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye